Okay, who was it that said, I've never met a slice of bread that I didn't like? All right, nobody ever said it, but I happen to love bread. So I'm ecstatic over our returning guest, bread expert and culinary chef, and my friend, AJ Shepler of Rothbury Farm. Welcome back. Thank you, it's fantastic to be back. Thanks for being here. All right, this is a fabulous spread. I wish all those people it's, out there could smell. Smell it, it's delicious. It smells like breakfast, doesn't it? It smells like breakfast, lunch, dinner. It smells like I'm getting up at two in the morning to eat. But you're not. I'm not. That's I'm where we're going. To, that's where we're going with this. You're not going to be up at 2 a.m. cooking. It's early morning, and we're going to talk about bread. Let me tell you, no. from what I used to eat when I was a little girl to what bread is today. We at Rothbury Farms have created a wonderful line of breakfast breads that are savory, and they're going to cut a lot of time out of your recipe development. It's like bringing grandpa's recipe. Grandpa's oven to your table. I know, I love it. Okay, so what do we have over there? Okay, so to start off, we've got an awesome baked pumpkin swirl French toast. Mm. I mean, this is gonna be a time saver because you're gonna marinate this the night before in your custard mix, just like you would a French toast, but you're gonna let it sit overnight. You're gonna get up in the morning, maybe an hour before, pop it in the oven, when everybody starts to wake up to those beautiful fumes. Can you fumes. imagine? It's gonna be delicious. They're gonna wake up and they're gonna be wowed. Mm, I'm already and wowed. And it's, it's fresh pumpkin that's going in there. We're not using high fructose corn syrup. We're not using the artificial the ingredient. We're using real fruits in these things. It makes a huge difference. So if that's maybe a little bit out of your league, just take it, toast it off in the morning, serve it with your favorite jam spreads. You could do peanut butter. Okay, I love this one here. The apple fritter this French looks toast. This sinful. It's absolutely delicious. I and again, just wanna eat it. Go ahead, tell me. Fresh what apples are in there. Got a nice swirl in there just like you would do a normal French toast, but you're adding another layer, adding some apples to it. And then you could top it with, we got a nice caramel sauce there with some brulee apples. Oh. You could do peaches onto it, you could do strawberries. Again, top it with your favorites. What's this? It's a pecan pumpkin French toast bake. Instead of doing this big thing, if you just want some individual ones, maybe you wanna do a couple days in a row, put them in little ramekins, bake them off in the morning, you got breakfast to go. Now, raisin bread has always been my favorite. We don't have it out here, but again, it's a staple. It is a staple. It's been around for a long time, but again, we're using wholesome ingredients going into that. And monkey bread. Monkey bread. What is that? It's got cinnamon, it's got raisins, but instead of doing a swirl pattern, we chop it up so you got all this nice marbling of ingredients in there, giving a nice little different texture to it. And I have to repeat this. I think this is so cute. Grandpa's oven. Grandpa's oven. You take great pride with that, don't you? This is what our company was really founded on, was the idea of wholesome ingredients coming from your grandma or grandpa's oven. We're gonna make a little Monte Cristo, or at least it's gonna be my version of Monte Cristo. Okay. It's a little bit different. So, we're gonna start off with some of our cinnamon swirl bread, and we're gonna do a little butter on the outside of it, because everybody needs butter in their life. Okay. So a little turkey, kind of keep it on the lean side. We got a little smoked gouda to step it up a notch. Ooh. And then Granny Smith apples. I like the tartness of the Granny Smith apples, and it really just sets off this Monte Cristo. I would have never Cristo. thought of this. Again, a little bit more butter on the outside of this, and we're just gonna let this roll for a little bit. And then you've got this gorgeous looking caramelization on the outside, serve it with the raspberry purees, because that's what makes a Monte Cristo. So I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna take my piece. That's gonna be your piece. Okay. And we're gonna do this together, okay? What's the, that? It's the raspberry puree. Okay, okay. You got got to make it traditional. Okay. You ready for this? Uh -huh. Okay. Oh yeah. You get those layers. Mm. That cinnamon. Oh wow. Just sets it off a little bit more. Yeah, this is really good. All uh the recipes are available at rothberryfirms.com. Mm -hmm. um, so feel free, go explore, enjoy, and modify them. Modify them to your tastes. Okay. You can come back anytime, AJ. Awesome, thank One you for time. having Give us again. Give me the again. website. Rothberryfarms.com. Rothberryfarms.com, this is so good. Isn't thank you, sir. I'm gonna go for another You're the best. And for more information on delicious breakfast breads and more, isn't he adorable? Visit rothberryfarms.com or go to our website, thebouncingegg.com.